winning a game while they were at it. Uh, it was an incredible game for Weibo up until it wasn't. And then they flipped the Baron and WE swept the game away. Now that was our game one. We'll be diving straight into game number two, Jamada. So I expect a bit of a change from Weibo and maybe a little bit more consistency to try to stabilize this series a little bit. Yeah, let's. Um, I'm very curious to see where we're at with uh with Weibo now because that was a very well. It was a game, and Weibo <laughs> ended up on a similar. That was a game of all time. Yeah, it was a game of all time. So they've ended up with Zyra Khan, same top side, whereas WE have still got Orn and the Annie and the Kaisa, but supports have swapped up jungle as well. So a little more skirmishing power, a little less team fight power, I suppose, from the jungle role. But outside of that, WE's composition functions very, very similarly. But for Weibo, a little less defensive tools, I suppose. Right, Sejuani and Braum work really well into short range compositions, typically. If you can proc, proc those stuns up, so maybe W actually have a little more room actually to navigate these fights, in my they opinion. Could. Yeah, I feel like they can realistically contest a little bit earlier on. I think for Weibo, the story and the trajectory of the early game should remain relatively consistent here. Weibo should be able to pick up the first Herald and the first Dragon if they want it. We did see last game it didn't quite go that way. <laughs> uh, things are traded out as opposed. To how we expected them to go and we'll see how priorities lie once we get back into game and of course naturally i believe we're not actually that far behind we're actually quite close to life which feels pretty good let's go it does indeed as uh i will say i do appreciate that wave over pretty much saying you know it, it was an execution diff uh and, and just kind of running back with a couple different pieces i like the wukong takeaway though uh, but specifically a lot more stability down here on this bottom side and safety I feel like they also get the Rakan for Crisp. Uh, no big deal, as uh, he's going to be pretty good on that one. And I expect there to be some more of that early skirmishing still. And even though last game we didn't get a lot early, it was about that vision control early on from both teams. Yeah, exactly. Junglers both ended up full clearing. We could see a very similar thing here as well. So it will just be about vision exchange here for both sides. That's that's not fair. That's <laughs> The shy, the the shy didn't lose that game. <laughs> okay, well maybe didn't he, he did. He, <laughs> look, look, man, I'm I'm no machine when it comes to criticizing the shy. All right, but I do like to be real and I do like to be fair to all of my players. Mm -hmm. I say my all of the players I come to take over, uh, unless they're rookie, because rookie can step on me. I've said that plenty of times. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's same, my bro. Same. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, my we're gonna move quickly forward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we should not focus on that and focus on this game. And yeah. uh, I do like this push. Maybe coming in with a little bit of the lollipop action here. I want says you want to lick. And WBEG will be under tower now in a bit of trouble because another wave's going to be crashing. You also have Hung hovering over this way. See if they can get any proactivity on this bottom side. Yeah, maybe. I feel like for WE though, it's more going to be about just curing. Skullcrab and then look at that same ward that they found in game number one. Whenever you end up with junglers both doing full clears, this is kind of what you end up with. Uh, so I don't expect too much. Maybe this time around, Weiwei makes a visit to the top side and maybe blows Cube's flash. And we saw how well the Shy did into lane. And it ha actually had a lot more to do with what happened on the bottom side than that, though, right? Because Cube yeah, true. defensively teleported and actually gave a little bit of room to open Iwandi to not get Dove. Uh, Iwandi and Hung. I Walking like this connection lane. so early, though. Oh, uh, well, Cube is very fortunate the Shy does not have cooldowns right now. <laughs> calculated, the man, calculated. I don't know about all that. I don't know about you have uh, an aggressive move from Weiwei over into Hong's jungle, but now with him coming up towards this top side, the back does get completed. At least you have a lot of safety up here for the Shy. Not going to be looking to flip anything more in his lane with a lot of vision control up here as well. We do have Dragon coming up, and that was an interesting conversation from game number one because we didn't get Dragon focus. We had more Rift Herald focus, more lane focus, but I do wonder now with the fact that Weiwei is pathing down this way, and if they can try to get a gank to answer Hope and I want these strength down here, if they want to go for something like that to give them more breathing room later on. Yeah, I would like to see it. It's very interesting, by the way, that both junglers have elected to 
land on the exact same jungle clear <laughs> that they were on in game number one. So everyone has about the same amount of information. I even think this bottom side wave was crashing at the exact same time, so <laughs> Weibo have an opportunity to do the dragon on spawn here if they really want to. But it would mean that Hung would be able to, you know, kind of just walk into the river face first and would cause some issues, so it looks like Weibo is going to take some resets. This time, to break the cycle, the Shy does not cancel his <laughs> at this time, but that I do remember. <laughs> So we're not actually that just deja vu is a different we're, experience. We're, we're, yeah, at least. it's not ground. It's not Groundhog Day. We're not just in <laughs> game number one again. Uh, I, I, you better hope not if you're a Weibo fan. <laughs> you don't want to go back there. You never want to go back there. You want to go forward. You want to walk away from that experience. As WE will walk towards the experience of getting first dragon for themselves. They had a little bit of presence from bot side, as well as. A little bit of presence from Iwandi moving up towards mid. So easy, early, objective secure for Team WE. Yeah, and this could actually be uh, as a response to how game one played out, right? Because they kind of know where Weiwei is and should be. Pick up this dragon. Mid lane as well, they had Shanks. Actually technically in base, but he was teleporting back out. So it's not the end of the world. So all is well for WE. They get the first dragon here, not bad at all. And Weibo don't really have anything in their own back pocket to respond with this. So Chris going good. in, though. They can make it happen if they find Hope down. But he is able to pop some damage back into Crisp and Light. Pops the Ghost. They're in a really awkward wave state here, though. They just keep trying to crash this wave, and it's just not working. But at least it'll uh, get them going. Yeah, neutralized out now. Uh, Hope does have two biscuits, but his health is kind of low. It's got the plant to go to, though. So that's going to just alleviate all of that pressure. And Weibo kind of get a bit of a reset on that. Uh, wait, wait. Still away some camps, so I guess maybe, you know, the extended cross map on the dragon, this is what it is, but <laughs> it still feels not the best. Not going to be able to necessarily go up towards the top side. The Shy, again, it feels like definitely having a good start to this lane. Yeah. Weiwei Wei has been consistently push. on this top side, though, I will say. And I think that is a little bit different. He was hovering sometimes towards the other side of the map uh, when things were going a little bit awry, but you love to see that, you know, they, they realize how much of a lead the Shy had last game. They want to try to emphasize that a little bit. But Hung also wants to respond to how the lane state looks up there. Yeah, exactly. I would like to see some interaction from the junglers here on the top side. We didn't really get to see much uh, intervention of how the lane was going. And I might actually now we do. My, my wish answered. Knock up. Knock oh, up. the Shy. You don't Can't have move. 40 CS this time. You don't have any way out of the heart. Breaking situation has come for Weibo as their top laner is no more. You know, Mazel, sometimes with the Shy, I wonder if it's just like he's had a bad breakfast, you know? Like he's not had his spaghettios. And then he kind of just forgets that the jungler can can come up here from time to time. To be fair, it didn't happen in game one. So, you know, I can forgive him. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'll just give some caveat here. I'm a super positive person. You know that. Oh, I feel yeah. like everybody yeah. knows that and at you this know, point. That's, that's why I, I love this I love duo. the Shy. <laughs> I, I absolutely love the Shy. I think he has had some incredible moments. He is literally a name known around the world. And for me, right, I'm always the one that's like, give him some slack, guys. Like, he, he is still literally the Shy. And I think he has shown that this split to some extent. But then there are moments like this where you're like... Feels a little bad, man. Uh, Weibo still able to dig themselves out of this one. They've got the shovels, and now they're looking at mid lane to put a lot of pressure onto these plates potentially early on, but it was really all about the Rift Herald. Yeah, exactly. Weibo will secure the Herald. If they Did so I have please. too much copium? <laughs> I mean, like I was saying, this is why I like our casts, because you really are the, the glasses half full, and I am very much glasses half empty. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but look, I don't think it's too much Kogan. I feel like it's fine. You can back the Shy. You know, he's X Ball champion. He is occasionally that guy. But uh, he's not been that guy so far this series. And I hope <laughs> yeah, for your fine. sake. He almost <laughs> was in game one, okay? <laughs> All right, now I really got to put the copium away. Anyways, no, we're no, going to come it, back. Put it away now. Put it away. It put it away. Let's, let's take much, a deep breath. Too much. Back. Too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, the thing is, though, constant pressure has been levied for the Shy top side. But as of Renekton into the Ord, the Ord is fine with this because you get a lot of trades back in mistakes moments. But 
It's also keep just scaling up to infinity on this pick that loves that. He is the engage for Hung to find the resets here as we move forward. So I, I do want to see Weibo put a little bit more pressure. Weiwei has constantly invaded on this topside jungle, but we haven't been able to see any answers on the cube just yet. Yep, yeah, not just yet, but you're all right. This is the kind of uh, this is the kind of uh, lane that I feel like for me, Orn loves. It's it's kind of strange. He just loves to soak up this kind of pressure, so he's happy to to sit there. And in Cube's case, the shy last game definitely did get the better of him, but it was because of a self-sacrificing play. This time, because he's not had to make that self-sacrificing play. He's really been able to chill out inside of this lane, and even though he's falling behind in CS, he's down, what, like 15, maybe after he collects this wave. It's not the end of the world. You're playing on, like you said, you scale to infinity, yeah. and you will be setting up WE for team fight success, so it's going to be absolutely fine. All right, then, where are we looking at for Weibo? I think Weiwei has had a bit of a quiet game so far. He does have the Rift Herald available. He's headed down towards this bottom side. Light can be a beneficiary of all that, but I'd like to see Xiaohu get some gold. Q going to get a 1v1 up here. Bum the Shy. Is this the redemption arc? The flash comes through, though, and Cube is alive. Cube's fine. He's got teleport, too, so we'll just come back to the top side of the map. I actually wonder... What would be really cool here is if he teleports to the bottom side tower and they force a play and actually look for Dragon off the back. But even if you give the Shy, you know, two, three plates, could be something for them to look for. The Shy's also going to have teleport now, so maybe they both hold on to it for this next Dragon. As you can see, both the teams are really kind of just eyeing up for it right now. The only difference between the two is that Weiwei does have this Herald, so that's going to be an extra tool for Weibo to tool around with. Okay, Iwandi. Iwandi will get the preemptive flash into the dredge line combo. The Spidey Hook is good. Light. Aggressed by Hope. He has the Killer Instinct. Does he want it? A 1v1 is all I could ask for in the ADC roll. But now we get the fight Here in the fight of the Dragon Pit. I want he's already gone. As Xiaohu has picked him off. Hung is just looking for resets. Looking for something. Can he get oh. Weiwei? He can. Oh. Weiwei makes it out alive in WE. They're scrambling. The shy is a little bit overextended here as the rest of Weibo are chasing on the backside. Some decent poke from Xiaohu. And the shy ends up getting caught after all of it. Does have that nice heal up flashing away and makes it out alive by the skin of his teeth. Uh, you have to feel like Weibo kind of got away with murder here by not losing anyone. I feel like WE's collapse should be a lot stronger. But things just sent in different directions, I feel like, for WE. And then the dragon being aggroed, sending Weiwei across the wall and giving him the opportunity to actually get out. So we could just end up with a full reset. Cube's going to be actually on the top side immediately. The Shy's also... I think we're just clearing... Ooh, see if I saw that correctly on the minimap. Uh, it's gold, Iwandi, okay. Though, it's gold, it's gold. Face checks, gets away from this engage from Chris. So that's one ultimate down now, right? From Chris at the exchange of Iwandi's flash. Hope goes in, looks for a good trade onto light. And whilst this is going on, we actually start to have a collapse and teleports come through on both sides. Now this all ultimate, if it actually goes towards Chris and Xiaohu... I think this fight looks different because then the rest yeah, of the can really pounce and collapse, but because it doesn't go onto him, because it goes onto Weiwei instead, it gives Weibo the opportunity to just kind of disengage very slowly. Yeah. Shine and Hung getting here. pushed out of the dragon like you mentioned, man. Yeah, like every, everything just just oof. comes up Weibo favored, right? Every way that you could have kind of felt Weibo could get away with this uh, collapse that comes through from WE, it manages to come to fruition. So. Feels pretty fortunate for them. A little bit unlucky for WE and even to make things a little bit worse. They're not even going to get this dragon. Even though the yeah, setup, gonna be imagine split. it felt like was a little more them favor. We also saw during that replay, we actually had the uh, Rift Herald utilized in mid lane. Got some plates there for Weibo as well. So they'll have a decent advantage now. And something we definitely could not say last game uh, after about the 17 minute mark. So love to see this from Weibo. A little bit of the pickup. Oh. Feels bad, man. Won't get that one. But you do need Happens. to continuously realize that WE are scaling. They will have Q, providing a lot of late game potential. But also, Hope is going to be starting to come online. And right now, as we transition into a bit of a lull state, my next eyes are on those second items coming out for both Light and for Hope. And how influential that will be in a lot of the skirmishes we'll see coming up. We have Rift Herald at about 35 seconds. Yeah, we do. Last game, it didn't really feel like it was a battle of 80 carries as this battle so often dictates. It was really about just team fight execution, so we'll see whether or not Hope and Light can have bigger contributions to those team fights this time around. Last game was a lot about the junglers, a lot about the mid laners, kind of battling out for wombo combos. 
And we're 15 seconds left now. Let's take a look at the map because I think, again, Weibo are kind of set up a little bit better for this. They're already here, which is definitely a good, good start. <laughs> And it's not the Baron, ascending. that's also a good start. That's It's also not the Purple Worm, which is even better. <laughs> yeah. Um, it seems like Shanks is just going to look to trade this bottom side tower alongside Hong. Uh, and Cube is going to try his best to deny the Shy for as long as he can, but unfortunately the Shy is quite strong. And Matt Weibo are getting everything this time. They're getting top tower, they're getting mid tower, they're getting Herald, so this is a much better outlook for Weibo compared to where we were in game number two. Just in terms of, or game number one rather, just in terms of how quickly some of these structures fell. But I still feel like we're getting deja vu because this is roughly what happened last <laughs> game. They, as well. they just didn't. It, it, if they didn't flip the Baron, it was different, right? That's what we <laughs> said, and it can be different this time around. Also, still maintaining that 70 plus percent first tower raid. Our Weibo, they're looking to crash even more in this top side. That's a tier two under threat. 15 and a half. That's huge. And a decent gold injection, which now balloons their lead over 4,000. Yep, huge lead. They're even going to allow this Herald to charge. Oh, oh. Ooh, really? Nice. Did not. The eye opens right as it charges. That's definitely a feels good moment, but yeah, for WE, losing out a lot of structures still. Now, Mazel. Often Hello. are you the glass half empty or full? It's only half. Yeah. Now, I'm going to do that, but for WE, because I've just, <laughs> okay. it's, it's taken me a little while to notice for some reason, but we've got a Chemtech chem -tech Dragon, and, and obviously that's not necessarily the best for snowballing, mm -hmm. right? Now, it's only one Dragon apiece, so it's not going to come into fruition anytime soon, but even if Weibo can't close out for a very long time and they get Soul, it's not really going to help them that much, I feel. Mm. I don't know why, I, I mean, I guess there's a some degree of frontline here. But I'm just being the hater that I am for this draft. I hope that they change it. <laughs> uh, it it's w, definitely something to think about moving forward. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I will also say Shanks uh, opting out of the Leandris this time and going for the Luden. So a little bit more of that burst damage potential here for Shanks. And I love to see it. That decisiveness is going to be key um, as ever as uh, the Shy. He's about to go down. Cube <laughs> has to flash out of the turn range. I don't know how you ended up here, but you're about to go down to the stick. We'll see if Weiwei can finish him off, and there you go. It's actually the Shy who gets the kill. All right, the Shy's on the board. Full hail, and all the rest of it. How but did was you get there? I think you, because he eat in, then he tried to R in, then he flashed it. Look, sometimes <laughs> I, I, can, I can respect a player who's got that kind of passion and drive to just go forward, you know? I'm not saying that he should have done it this time around, but it was definitely uh, an option that he had which he probably shouldn't have used and it did give Weibo another kill. Uh, Shanks is actually still up here and with Hung collapsing this should technically be another tower trade so it does feel alright for WE to at the very least get something back again but definitely the initial play itself was not particularly executed well. Dragon's up in 30 seconds time. Let's see exactly how W want to try and contest this, if at all. So he tries to hit the E on the Q, but the Q comes oh, up late, God. and he flashes out of the way of Weiwei. Wei, and then Weiwei Wei would have interrupted the R anyway because of the Cyclone knockup. Then he flashes away, but he's actually just used three gap closes to get further and further away from his team. So, you know, it it happens like that sometimes, Mazel. And sometimes just... you can only see forward. You can't see backwards. Uh, there, exactly. there was no world where Cube was going to go back to his team. He was going forward through the tower. Why not? Uh, but that is something that Weibo pounced on, and the decisiveness is actually pretty big for them because now they're in position, at least, to contest this dragon contest that WE do not want to give away. No, they don't want to, but they're 4,500 gold down. Is it a fake gold lead? A little bit. Everyone's actually on one item, so this is actually, for now, the closest that WE will get to an equal fight. So it's all right if they take it. You can ignore the gold lead for now. They're actually going to start this one up. So look at Xiaohu, see if he can find flanks. Look for Crisp as well. And same thing, specifically Shanks has to try and find the back line here. Ornhorn just Weibo. came up. Yeah, Xiaohu. Xiaohu's 
Shanks is around the corner. It's a battle of the mid laners trying to find a flank, trying to find it in. Cube is stepping up. The dredge line goes wide. The Shy looking on the flank here. Shanks indecisive on his pathing. He needs to figure something out because his team's getting engaged on it. I want he's already gone. Cube not even going to be able to get much influence with that ulti as he just gets dragged down. The flash from Shanks, the big damage. It's a double kill already for Light though. And he is carving away with the feathers as the Shy is over on the side in a 1v1 with Shanks and he goes down. WE have to head away as the Heartbreaker comes through. Chris wants more. Hope is caught out. He has to flash himself, but Light wants it. Light goes down though. And you get the resets for Hung, but he gets locked out and taken out by Wei Wei. Oh my goodness me, what a messy, messy, messy fight. Cube isolated on the side of this, whilst his entire team basically just kind of gets run over a bit. But it ends up being a much more extended trade than I feel like it actually deserved to be. We'll get a replay. We'll break that one down. That's not getting post without one. <laughs> Say that, Weibo. They'll get this dragon. And WE, this is probably the last time for a while that they was going to get an equal fight in terms of items and completions. But it's all a bit split, and like you mentioned in the call, the fact that Shanks is so indecisive, right? Weibo just decided to pull the trigger. They just anticipate that Shanks is actually closer to that flank than he actually is, and I wonder he gets one shot, isn't able to turn around anything. Cube's ultimate gets called defensively and doesn't really find anyone either, but I really like this decisiveness from Shanks. Flashing on the Xiaohu, Hope goes in as well, and they do get that form, but fortunately, the Shai then gets isolated with Shanks, runs him yeah. down, no one in W can actually get to him, and then Weibo start to recollapse onto WE. I will say, though, a troubling situation is I find myself oftentimes seeing Shanks in a position like this on the Annie as well. So I, uh, you know, want to see some decisives. I was calling out the drop. The Annie doesn't look as good if you are not decisive. And that's going to need to change if you want to take a clean sweep here. Weibo have a monumental lead now. We have seen them be dicey before, but this feels like a composition that now is going to be hitting its stride. Yeah, now this is where we need to actually take a look at the items because, again, 5k gold lead. Oh, we keep on getting pop-ups. It's fine. It's we'll, we'll see it in a second. But only right now is the Shy. We have an item advantage. Everyone else is actually still sat at one item and component. So WE, if no resets come through, can actually take a bit of an even fight. Because Shanks has gone Shadow Flame and not Death Cap like Xiaohu is, we actually have one more complete item, which is going to feel nice for now. So again, the gold lead is a little bit fake. It's not the fakest in the world. So they're actually still in with a shot, in my mind. I will also actually say Crisp has finished up that mythic. I, the name is foregoing me right now. And Iwandi still sat on components as well. So we'll see if we can get to that Evan Shroud. I believe that's what Radiant he's building to. Radiant Virtue. Radiant Virtue, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I got you. You know, we've been, uh, we've been hanging out a lot recently. Feels like we're, you know, getting on the same. Oh, yeah. okay. You just let me, you just let me have, I was going to say, you oh, say wavelength. Bad. Oh, wavelength. Uh, page. Or, or oh, page. Dude. I don't know, no, one of the those, two, but you just no. let me hang it, man. I, I, I thought, thought you were just going to these last look, four look, days. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You what know how this whole stick works. What does this do? For, for those who don't know, we t me, Mazel and I technically hear each other at like half a second of delay. So often, we'll give each other like it's space. it's more than that. It's probably a little bit more than that. But we give each other space so we don't talk over each other. So I don't know how he expected me to finish off that sentence. Because I, I was feel just like, going to be quiet until you talked. <laughs> just leave it open-ended there. But speaking how? of open-ended, it might be a closed oh, book oh, question no. here at the top side. As it's all three of the WE members that decided to put a campfire up here snuffed out. Uh, nothing is open about this except for maybe WE's base. Once Weibo get the Baron, <laughs> it's a closed casket. It's for all for those three. Jeez. Much Weibo. different though from Weibo. I'll just say, like, yeah. you don't flip the Baron. This is a 2-0. Weibo Whoa. actually had. Hey, hey, I, I say what, what I said. All right, I said what I said. What do you know when you don't flip the Baron? What you might not actually lose the game if you want to fall. Oh, hey, no way, guys. But uh, yeah, a really nice collapse from Weibo. Just being able to spot out. I think the fact that Weiwei actually spots Hung on the sweeper just gives them the inkling that everyone's still here and around. Yeah, collapse. Yeah, the combo, two man. Two knock up. And Rakan Iwandi. right now is the MVP for me in these in this series. I think both games we've yeah. seen extreme influences from Iwandi and Crisp on the pick. Yeah, agreed. Crisp is definitely having a very, very solid showing on this. This would be very game one, wouldn't it? 
It absolutely would be. He's going to try to get out. Oh. oh, he gets locked down over the wall. Can't make it over the edge. And that will be 650 gold given over to the home. Not my goat. I'll say that. Not my goat. Weibo. Yeah, because he's still a crocodile. Still going to be to some towers. All right, you know what? I'll give you that one. No contest. Light's Got still going to be able to get this tower. <laughs> Uh, Is it great that I can say got him on broadcast my co-caster? <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> and, you, and you don't get smacked over the head? Yeah, true. <laughs> I agree. We do have Dragon uh, coming up in about 35 seconds, though. Weibo getting a bit of a reset here, uh, at least for Crisp. But maybe with the vision game here for WE, it's going to be theirs. Yeah, it should be. Let's see, though. I feel like the Shy is so strong right now, he's actually very, very close to Sterax. And once he picks up that... He's going to be kind of close to unkillable here. But the rest of the map is kind of close to item parry. There's a couple of differences here and there. So if somehow WE can very quickly remove a target, which given their composition, they certainly have the tools to, then maybe they'll be all right. But we haven't really seen WE be particularly decisive by, yet. By the and, way, uh, speaking uh, of they've been on the turrets yeah. like this <laughs> entire time. We were just like <laughs> taking a, a wally yeah. around uh, yeah. around the rift. Uh, but both turrets in mid and top are almost dead. Yeah, that's not a good look. So, Weibo, with all that priority earned in those solo lanes, we'll just pick up this dragon pretty much for free. No one WE is here to contest. And they'll be sat one away from Salt. We'll see where Trinity that Trinity Force again. for Hung here and Deshai getting caught out again. again. My goodness! That's uh, that's twice in a row now, as dragon number three goes to Weibo. All right, silly topic, because we're going to have a little bit of downtime here uh -huh. as the Baron comes up. So earlier on, I mentioned that the Shy needs to have a good breakfast in order to just, you know, not, not do what he's doing in this mid-game and the last okay. mid-game. What constitutes to a good breakfast for you for the Shy? I'm just going to tell you, it, you might be, it might be straight up, it might be gross, I don't know. Fiber, whatever it is, Fiber. you need consistency, my friend. You, you, need, to oh, able to, uh, you need to be able to, you need to be able to pass some movements, okay? And I think, uh, <laughs> I think you really need to be able to get some fiber in your breakfast to shine for some stability. Yeah, there's a. Uh, but what is it though? Fiber, right? You said porridge. I'd say toast, porridge, something bread-like. Yeah. Potatoes. You know, there's, a very, there's a very suitable nickname Those that are the card. has, which I can't say on broadcast, which is pertained to. Potentially having fiber. No, no, he on. was invisible. This was like, oh no, oh god. Yeah, it's uh. To be fair, that's. Yeah, should he be rotating that way? No, he could have blast going over into the river. It's just one of those moments where you feel like you're probably fine until you see the orn element flying over your head. You can't really blame him. I will but just still. say. Yeah. Hopium open. The Mazel's Hopium Emporium has opened its doors right now, just for a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hong is is you know. Starting to get pretty strong. And if they get resets now with a three item hope, things look a little bit good, but they can't get caught out. They can't oh, get oh, oh, snuffed oh. out. Hung playing beautifully with the pressure that he has in the shroud. Oh. All items are also starting to come online, by the way. So the overall worth of some of these items going to go up and, you know, it kind of closes the gold lead. It starts to look a little bit smaller technically by the items. Even if it looks like 8,000. <laughs> Even if it looks like an 8,000 gold lead, it's like closer <laughs> to a five. And again, you know, item completions are what's most important in League of Legends. Those are what change how champions work. Even though, like, you know, has a much more expensive third item, I will say that compared to Hope, they are still at three items. So they still do have the opportunity to whack out damage just in different ways. And the only real big discrepancy right now is in the top side of the map, where Shai is at three items. But got some some pretty sad news the shy's not really been able to put those three items to use in a team fight for a while so it's not really the end of the world for we as long as they can maybe be ready to fire the next dragon or the next baron or really try and make weibo sweat for either objective i like this though man i like the this. they are getting stopwatches for we they realize how important these next fights are especially with a countdown to two minutes till that chemtech soul i know you were saying earlier it might not be the most important but it's seeming a bit important for WE. They do not want to rest control Ooh. on the map, and they've got to make something happen. Speaking of making it happen, Hope steps way too uh, far forward, uh, and the West of Weibo are coming. Xiaohu with the Aimaker from the top rope and light with the flash over. They thought they had something, but they just couldn't get caught. But they get caught with their pants down, and Shanks out of sorts here and out of the fight. 
And I have Xiaohu and Crisp chase him down, but Weibo pounce and that decisiveness comes up clutch as Xiaohu getting locked out, but it's the Shy coming to make sure that everything goes well. They're just gonna chase him down here, maybe give Crisp a little bit of breathing room. Okay, they uh, take a long time a to long get him. Time. I don't. I guess they just really want Crisp to get the the gold. He gets it. Look at that. Give him the tip of the hat. So a couple of things. It did take them a lot of time. Cube also doesn't go down in the end. The Baron will still go over to Weibo and actually it keeps Shanks dead and off the map for a little bit longer. Not that it will seem to matter, I think, in this particular instance, but I just feel really bad for Vicky Pardon WE who are looking for that contest. Hope was the one that stepped forward. Yeah, exactly. Like, he just thinks he has more damage than he does. It's kind of uh, way way, it's... too. That's what I'm surprised about. Yeah, like, it's not like Iwandi was in the bush when that started and they dredge lined him in, you know? So... Without all of that additional CC, he kind of is just able to turn things around, and Xiaohu comes in with a massive ultimate on top of it, so... Yeah, very awkward from the side of WE. And I think now we're starting to approach a territory where, you know, I can cope as much as I want. I can be like, yeah, look, Cube's giving out his third Ornion, and the completions are there. The execution this game just hasn't been yeah. there for WE, so... I, I will say... the game state until they actually pull something through. We didn't get the stopwatches used for WB. They realized that this fight could be more important, so we still have some defensive nature tools True. available for Team WE, but it's Weibo uh, who are going straight down mid lane. Ah, uh, this is awkward. WE could have to actually commit, I think, for the for the dragon at this point. Acknowledge that Weibo. Well, they just go lose the game it, at this point. The problem is. is uh... Oh no! They got their oh. back stopped. Oh my God! Oh, are they just gonna win the game? No. The first tower's gone! Oh, WE are no. scrambling here, but Weibo actually spending a little bit of time chasing Shanks oh, instead God. of going for the end. The two Nexus towers are down, but they have to <laughs> whack away now. So I feel like a little bit of uh, decisiveness here for Weibo could just be one final push. The engage comes through, but stopped by Iwandi. Here comes the big knockup. Pope gets locked down as soon as he goes in, and Xiaohu comes in once again with a big pop possum. The gold dip is just too darn big, and Weibo pushing us to game three and we they'll be pushed to the brink awkward way to end that game for we but for weibo really well executed and i think this is just what this series might look like if they don't flip a black they don't flip a baron that's it that was the only difference between the game number one and game number two weibo had control of the early game they had control of the mid game and this time out they had control of the late game because they were actually able to secure the